very hot. Um, hello, I, I am back for my trip slash trips. Was that more traveling than I ever thought I could handle? Yeah, I went on a, a five day trip to Portland and then I went on a five day trip to New York, very spur of the moment. Um, I took like three days in the middle of the trips, maybe. Like maybe it was three, but it barely was. My friend Amarelle, who did this painting back here, she just graduated with a painting master's degree and her partner Greg threw her a surprise party in New York where they live. And he invited me like a month ago and he was like, hey, it would be crazy if you came to this party, huh? And I was like, it would be crazy, but I come back from Portland like two days before the party. So like, don't count on me. After he invited me, I was sitting there thinking, I should go, this is my opportunity. It's very exciting that she graduated with a master's. Surprise parties are fun, yeah? No, I don't know if they're fun. So I'm sweating right now. If you see sweat on me, I am sweating. Um, so I booked my ticket the day before I left and went to New York City for five days. And it was really fun. I'm really glad I went. I, I am also very tired at the same time. But I'm really happy I went. I met Radia and spent a lot of time with Amarel and Greg who are kind of newish friends for me. I don't see them a lot. I met them through mutual friends, but they're just really awesome people. I was really happy to spend time with everyone that I saw there. I also met Courtney Hossman, who, Horseman who made my Yeah Maybe mugs. If you know the mug, it's right here, which was a delight. So very good trips. I have lots of footage from these trips and here's my idea. I want to share my footage I took on these trips. I've been indulging a bit in filming the, the past few trips I've taken this summer, which I really enjoy doing, but I also feel like they don't they don't necessarily go into the vibe of my, my typical videos. Here's my idea, listen to this. I wanna do Portland video, sort of a vlog, and then I wanna make some art inspired by my Portland trip. And then I'll make a follow-up video with my New York footage, and then make some art inspired by my New York trip. I don't know how in depth these, these things I'm making will be. Will they be sketches? Will they be paintings? Will they be a set of things. I don't know. I have absolutely no plan besides I thought that this would be a good idea to to mesh my my YouTube life with my newly relit flame for filming outside of my studio. So we're going to try and merge them. That's my plan. I think it's pretty genius. I pitched it to James earlier and he said that is such a good idea. So I think that's a good sign. I'm currently editing my Portland footage and then maybe like this week I will do some art inspired by Portland. I've done some sketches in my sketchbook that I did on the trip and then maybe make like a, a little painting and it, it could be it could be something. I've never made a video like this so just be patient with me. I don't know what I'm doing but I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I would like to take this moment to thank our sponsor, Pila. Pila products are totally compostable, which means they will break down in your backyard or industrial compost. And no, they will not break down in your pocket. Pila just sent me two new designs and they're so cute. I've been using the checkerboard one for a few weeks now and I love it. The first 50 subscribers to use the link in the description or the code LEE will receive 40% off their purchase from Pila. After the first 50 subscribers, it will still be 25% off. So thank you Pila for sponsoring this video. Yeah. I can't even get everything in it. It is. The longer I'm in here, the more I like it. Me too. Sorry, I'm
Yeah. How fast do we have to go? I don't know. You go stay somewhere. Is yours gonna just go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. How long is it? Gift shop's cute. You should have gone in cute. there. I'll buy me a t-shirt from this place. You should. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll get the gold. Say that again. Look at these suckers. Low smoking. Really? Yeah. Oh, smell. Pretty. Like my lens is way too zoomed in to get. It's getting a little better for me. Is it? Mine hurt the tongue. Hurt the tongue. It's endless. What? I didn't know it was this big. It off to awesome. so someone. Yeah. yeah. You get amazing shots today. Thank That's you. That's really cool because I, I know that you're putting extra effort to just enjoy what you're photographing. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. So cute. <laughs>
Okay, uh, I was supposed to be filming this video and doing the art for it today, um, but I decided to bleach my hair myself today. And it did take hours. And I've never had bleached hair before. Uh, I have had colored hair, like some of it, but I've never had full, full blown. I've also never done it myself, so. It was, it went well. Here, here it is. I even got, I did the back myself. Radia did not recommend that. I, I did reach out to Radia because I know that she's a bleach expert because she has the beautiful silver hair. She gave me so many tips, couldn't be more grateful. She told me to get someone to help me with the back and I was kind of waiting yesterday and then didn't have time. And then today I was like, you know what? I have two hairs in the back of my head. So I think it's gonna be okay. And it was, I did miss, miss a spot. So we had to kind of go back, but all good, all good. So it did take me hours. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna sit down now and maybe look at my Portland sketches, see if there's anything of interest that I'd like to make a more uh, finished piece. And if that doesn't work out, I'm gonna look at the photos from Portland and see if there's anything in there that sparks something. I don't know what I wanna make. My intention was to kind of make a finished painting, like not in my sketchbook, like make a real something. I'm thinking maybe like four, like square piece of paper, four little square thumbnail type paintings together as like a, as a four or maybe something just like green and white. Like maybe just do my green Posca pen and do something kind of larger than I usually do with just one color. I really love monochromatic art and I don't make a lot of it. I'll do like black and white, but I don't do like one color in white. And green was such a prominent color in Portland. So maybe, maybe something like that. We can do a couple of sketches like that. Let me get my little sketchbook. I liked this fish face here. Vases are not a new thing for me, but I just came up with this one out of my mind. So that's pretty exciting. Maybe I could integrate like some koi fish like I saw at the Japanese gardens. I love the bonsai trees too. I would not mind doing just like a bonsai tree and that's it. I think that would be cute. Um, and that's kind of it, unless I want to do roses. Um, I don't know who these ceramics were by. They were by an artist and I was just drawing them while I was at the restaurant. And then I kind of made some of my own. So I won't be taking any of these ideas because they're not technically mine. Very cute though. All right, I'm gonna sketch, see what's up. Even if I don't do like green Posca, I can do like just green paint alone. She's brewing up some ideas. Here I am starting the, the sketches for this thing I'm about to make. I love the sketching process. This is definitely my favorite part of any process is just dishing out ideas really fast and casually and making like a book spread about it. I love it. I love it more than actually making big things and I think that's why I sketchbook so much. Anyways, I, I'm gonna make a few voiceovers throughout this video while I'm making art. Just talking about my trip, talking about stuff. Um, it, feels, it feels like a fitting topic since this is pretty centralized around me traveling to talk about traveling a bit. It does feel a little off-brand on YouTube because I'm not talking about art necessarily, but people change, you know? People people do different stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, this trip was so fun for me because I've never been Northwest, neither Ali or I have ever been Northwest, and I don't, I didn't know anything about Portland, Oregon at all. I went to Portland like how you would go to a movie you haven't seen the preview for. And maybe you saw a couple of movie posters. Maybe maybe you saw some people posting about it like this is a pretty good movie. But you go to the movie, you don't even know what it's about. You don't you don't know anything about it. You don't even know who the actors are. 
Um, that's how I went to Portland. And I love that. I actually love seeing movies without watching the previews. So it was really fun. And I feel really curious. And it's exciting to not know what you're going to get. And that w- that was probably one of my favorite things about this trip. Oh, the AC is on. Dang it. Okay, I just finished my sketches. Did I add a little bit of color? Even though I was like, I really want to do monochromatic paintings. I just never do. And I really, yeah, I don't know. So first we did the Posca. I thought that this was just like a little too light. It wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. Plus using this thin of a marker for something big, it might take my life. Bonsai, this was a different bonsai than what I drew in my little sketchbook. And it's cool and all, like I like it, it's cool. Do I wanna actually do it? No. Unless it was like an actual painting, I think I would enjoy doing this, but for like what I'm trying to go for with like more graphic one color, this isn't the one. So I did um, a, oops, a gouache one here. I was contemplating doing like a few tones of green, um, like having this as the main green, doing a dark green, and then maybe adding like a lighter green or something. Also, these fish are giving Avatar. No? Yeah? And then I was like, what if it was like super graphic and tight? Not saying I'm able to do that with paint. Like I'm just not a, an exact painter like that's just i can barely do that i'm super impatient but what if it was like loosely colored like casually colored not like not like colored all the way but like loosely so i did this little draft here and i use um, a couple oil pastels and a colored pencil and i like the look of this and this is where we lost the monochrome this is where i got sucked into what i always do you may be thinking how is this even inspired by Portland? Why don't you paint a picture you took there? Which is the same question I was asking myself. I think I'm, try I'm trying to not do that. I could definitely just take a photo I took and turn it into a painting and be like, I'm inspired by Portland. But I really want it to be something less direct um, by using this a sketch I made there, incorporating like some things I noticed and then like making something that doesn't look like Portland. That's my goal here. We, we're gonna pull the koi fish that I saw. I don't even know if I included any footage of the koi fish. There were koi fish at the Japanese gardens. And then we're gonna pull the greens. Like Portland is only green from what I understand and what I saw, only green and like blue and gray maybe. I guess I'm gonna start on this now. I need to just got disguide. I need to just dis, dis I need to decide what color green I want to use. I do like the green that I was using, but I'm considering doing like a little darker. I don't even know if you can tell on camera, but like this is kind of a, a golf course country club, country club green. And this is like, maybe it might be black with a green tone. Um, I added just like some phthalo blue to this. So we'll see what we come up with. I'd like to at least sketch this before I leave today. Here I am setting up for this for this little project I set out to do. I did bring over my easel and there's something about using an easel that makes me feel like an actual artist, which I think is common, but I do love to work large, but I don't work large a lot because I feel like it doesn't really fit into my daily routine and I'm such a routine-based person that to stray off, like I have to really be intentional. So shout out to this little project I assigned for myself for me to get out this easel and my art supplies and my little paint shirt and be all artist-like since that's my job. <laughs> but that's what we're here to talk about. We're gonna talk about the Portland trip a little bit more. I, I made a little list of peaks and pits from the trip. If you've ever listened to my podcast, yeah, maybe podcast that I do with James, which is currently on hiatus, um, we do a segment for every 
episode where we share our peaks and pits, pits being the lows, peaks being the highs. So I could, I can, I made a little, I made a short little list of peaks and a short little list of pits. We're going to start with the pits though, because you want to start bad and then work up to something good and end on that sweet, sweet note. My biggest pit. Okay. So Allie and I went on a few hikes, three hikes. None of them were successful. Like we didn't, we didn't get to the goal that we ever intended. One, we got lost or two, it just didn't work out. So the main pit hike, Allie and I were hiking up at Mount Hood and we were going to a place called Paradise Park, which is from the pictures, it looks like a beautiful wildflower meadow with like mountains and beautiful greenery and loveliness. So we saw the pictures and I was like, I have to go there. So we figured out how the hike would go. It was like re a really long hike and most of it was uphill, which we were like, you know what? We're capable of anything. We can do anything. Were we wrong? A little bit. So we walk up this mountain. We're like three hours into this hike walking up a mountain the whole time we hit snow and the thing about hitting snow is one you can't follow the trail and two i was wearing chacos which are like hiking sandals and uh, my feet were numb so painful i really tried to push through it because i wanted to get to the destination so bad and we had worked so hard to get to where we already were um, we made it to like a little viewpoint, which wasn't really our intended um, destination. And was it worth the amount of work we had already put in? No, definitely not. No. After that hike, we got back to the Airbnb and I put my Chacos out on the street with a little free sign. I'm hoping someone took them. It may seem dramatic that like I blamed my Chacos for the snow making my feet cold but I've always kind of hated my Chacos and I begrudgingly brought them because I didn't want to bring my hiking boots on a plane. Anyways, good riddance to my Chacos. I never liked you. I hope you find a new home and you're nice to them, please. <laughs> but also the Chacos gave me blisters like all over my feet, so. I don't miss you at all, Chacos, bye. <laughs> I'm not going to turn the air conditioning off because I'm only going to film for a little bit. I can't tell if I like it yet. I think I will though. I'm not super concerned. The composition seems not as good as the sketch, which is totally fine. I do like the organicness of the just plain one color paint and like the texture you get with like not being that precise with a brush. So I'm gonna let this dry and then maybe color it in. Like, I don't know. Should I keep it simple? My gut says no, but when I start to color it, my gut's probably gonna be like, you should've kept it simple. What's cool about this painting, I'm talking way longer than I thought. I'm so sorry about the buzzing of the air conditioning. What's cool, is that traveling always, always reminds me that things don't need to be super complicated, like to be good. For example, taking a walk in a new neighborhood is pretty simple, but good. I, I feel like I when I start working too much, I start to overthink things and like get way too deep. And then I'm like, this isn't even good. I didn't even try hard. But like, it's not about trying hard. It's just about like doing it and like doing it. And then have, I mean, that's it. So this, that's kind of like a, an ins inspiration thing that happened while I was traveling, so good. Shall I color it? Um, I feel super weird about these fish. I don't even know what koi fish look like, so maybe we'll just call these fish to get me off the hook of anyone who's a koi expert or like a Japanese traditional tattooer. They're probably like, what? Just like look at a fish. I didn't even look at a fish. Like this is just what I think a fish looks like. So don't at me, please. Okay, we're gonna get into a few peaks. I'm just gonna uh, bust out a list. I'm not gonna do a full story like my pit. First peak, Indian Beach. Such a cool place, like rocks and 
cool water coming in beautiful forest around you we saw some surfers like it was a good vibe there i loved indian beach so easy to find vegetarian food in portland like i had to put in almost no work to find good vegetarian food it's not just like here's a side salad and um coleslaw that's what you get in cincinnati unfortunately we had such good coffee there such good coffee i had coffee every day which made me a little addicted to caffeine which i didn't like but worth it because the coffee was so good so good um we had such good weather the whole time it was sunny and like high of 75 maybe to 80 some days beautiful trees and the cutest cars i've ever seen um there's like a few cute cars in Cincinnati, like if you seek them out, but I could just walk the streets in Portland and see some of the cutest cars. I loved it. Okay, we're problem solving the composition. So I added this oil pastel chain on top, which I think is nice. It like gives it a nice little like radial composition. But now I feel like we need something to like continue the radial, like something like this or like two two little somethings here and it's gonna be like a little bit symmetrical and also round you see what i'm saying um so i'm thinking maybe like two i'm referencing my initial sketch like two of these or something going from maybe like the bottom of the pot ish edge and going like that to connect to the oval i'm trying to make or I think like something shorter would look fine too. Like even if it wasn't curved, more like angled. Like, you see? Or rounded. Uh, I, I, may, I think maybe straight to like make it less obvious and I'm trying to make it an oval. I'm trying to be secret here, I guess, secret. Um, so maybe like two little oil pastel flower cuties there. We're gonna go for it, I don't even care. Why did I fill that in all the way? I don't know why I filled that in all the way. Am I panicking? Let's do that. No one will know. This looks like a person. Um, there's something I can do about it. It just looks like a person. All good. <laughs> um, okay, I think it's done. Here it is, um, up close. I think it's pretty cute. I have absolutely no problems with this besides I wish I didn't color the fish. I don't regret the flowers, but while I was drawing the flowers, I did think that I was gonna regret them, but honestly, they're kind of cool. I like how textured they are and like the texture around the heavy green paint is a nice little, little touch. Yeah, the only the coloring on the fish is the only problem I have, but overall, cute. I think it's cute. It didn't take me too long, it's simple. I got it real messy. My hands are really dirty. Like, um, I'm just rubbing my dirty hands all over this <laughs> um, little, I don't know if I should call it a painting because I used oil pastels and colored pencil on it, but we'll call it a piece. I'm getting dirty little fingerprint all over this piece because I'm an artist. You see this painting shirt I have on? I've had this since I was in elementary school. Like it used to go down to my knees and in school I thought my shirt needs to be dirtier and I like put a lot like this green paint on there intentionally. I think that's so funny. <laughs> Anyways, I still wear it. It's my dad's old shirt. It has his initials on it. Um, which I think is really cute. It's done. This is my piece inspired by my Portland trip. Some might say, Lee, did you, did you give yourself a homework assignment for a vacation you went on? And to that I say, yeah, I did. I did. But is it homework if you assign it yourself? 
Is it? I'm so hungry. Uh, I was hungry when I sketched this out. I have to walk home. You know? What can you do? I wanted to hop on the voiceover again and say thank you for watching this video. I know it's, it's a little alarming to watch one of my videos and not have an intro and outro little segment, which I do enjoy, but I didn't do it this time because uh, I didn't feel like filming it. And that's pretty much the only reason. But I wanna give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons for supporting me. Thank you for allowing me the time and funds to go on vacation and relax. I am so grateful for your support. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you likey. I was so happy to have you. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, I also hope that you drank water. I know I, I barely reminded you because I thought I would film an intro and outro, but I didn't. So, bye! XOXO.